Hey guys, this is the breakdown of a forklift. This one's off of VL uh, 50 VX, which is 5,000 pound capacity forklift. But pretty much they look all the same for the dry brake system. They have uh, two systems for dry brakes. They have one just like this one. Then they have the other kind that goes from their 8,000 to about 10,000 pound forklifts. It's pretty much the same. The only difference is that the adjusting mechanism, you got two of these clickers, the adjustment places, versus just one on a single smaller axle like this one. You know, to change your brake pads, you just got to pop this off, remove your springs up here, and then these bottom ones, and pretty much just replace pads. Same thing on this side. This is uh, to... So it won't de-adjust when you have it on the forklift. And then, you know, of course, that's your master cylinder for when you hit the brake pressure. When you hit the brake pedal, you get pressure to here and it expands your shoes to hit the drum. Uh, this is going to go on a forklift I'm going to do sometime this week. Instead of, you know, just the brake kit with just pads. Usually when you get a brake kit, you get pads and a cylinder. That's it. The rest you got to swap over and change out and whatever. But this time I asked for the assembly, which showed up like this, which is, for me, a time saver and is a whole lot easier. You ain't got to fight all these springs and align all this stuff up. So that's the front side. This is the back side. Imagine you got your forklift spindle that sits right here and it goes through it. Your brake cable for parking brake goes through here. That's your bleeder for your master cylinder. Then, of course, where your hose goes to get pressure. And this is your adjusting port. Um, the, the other thing I, was, I made a video on how to adjust it, but pretty much, this is, since this is free and a lot easier to show you, I can show you right here. You just pretend this butter knife is your tool. You just put your tool in here and you just see if I can get it even with the butter knife. That's how you adjust it, that clicks. You hear the clicks and the more clicks you go, the more gap you're gonna get. One hand. Every time you click it, you're gonna get more gap from each shoe to the drum, closing the gap from the drums. But for now, this comes preset from the factory, so I gotta make sure I put it back. Since it's not even connected to nothing, it's a whole lot easier. But anyways, from the back side, you know, you stick your tool in here. Like this. This is the other way. All you do is just move it down. And that's how you know you're adjusting it. Like I said, it's going to move the gap from this point to this point. It's going to spread it to make more contact with the drum itself and you just keep on going like that until you hear no more clicks this is the right hand side so when you get the left hand side you're probably gonna have to go the other way because they make them you know off uh i don't know what you call that <laughs> but for the most part this is on yale brake system i know they carry pretty much the same design to different manufacturers but since i have a standalone complete assembly that's easy explanation on how to adjust adjust the brake pads since it's not even on the forklift right now uh so that's about it then i guess have a good day